Hello everyone out there, it's Archfiend back again today with uh, another great rant video here for you this evening. I hope you enjoyed the one I made for you earlier today about the fat people in the dance club over in England. And anyway, click my name and go back and check it out and tell me how much you hated it or whatever. Tonight uh, we have a, <laughs> a rant for you that um, is of an issue that uh, is very personal to myself and uh, it's also based on some decisions I've made in my life and I'm going to tell you how and why I feel the way I do and uh, how I got to the state of where I'm at today because of that. The, as you can see from the title, uh, this will be dealing with what I call meat is murder. Now, just a little bit of background of where I'm coming from on this, and I'll keep it brief because I know you guys could probably give a shit less about that, but I just want to let you know that I'm at least somewhat versed on the issue here that's at hand, and I'm not totally talking out my ass about this, even though some of you will think that anyway. But, hey, let's get on with this. Um, I became a vegetarian uh, about seven, eight years ago, close to eight now, and it was a very simple logic as to uh, why I chose the path that I've taken and kept to this day. Um, basically, when I was in college, I uh, was uh, reading an article that dealt with um, how animals are raised and um, taken to the slaughterhouse, etc. Nothing too much along those ends that I didn't know. Um, one thing that I found um, tremendously astonishing, if you will, I can't think of any other way to put it, is the amount of food that is put into any one animal to produce the final products in the butcher shop or wherever you get your meat from. Um, to put it in simple terms, um, X amount of food is fed to an animal, we'll just say a steer, that's going to be made up into hamburgers. So X amount of food is, produ is put into that steer and it produces uh, equivalent of whatever amount of food in the end. Um, one thing this article pointed out is that for every one serving of meat, that animal can consume 8 to 12 units worth of grain of an equal value or equal volume food content in that animal's lifetime. Uh, to put it in simplest terms, it would take a steer 8 to 12 bagels worth of food, so bagels being a grain product or whatever, however you want, I'm just trying to keep it simple here for you, 8 to 12 bagels produces one serving of meat, that's the equivalent to a one inch by one inch cube of steak. Now, I rationally thought about that thinking, wow, I could spend, you know, so much less money just buying bagels and getting a lot more food content instead of, you know, buying, you know, pounds of ground beef or getting hamburgers and steaks and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And on top of just the whole money and just the whole gluttony issue about it, it's a matter of understanding that it is just so wasteful to consume meat. Um, those animals, like I said, are raised for years on end, uh, require both maintenance by man and then maintenance by man again in the chop shop and you know it's a whole endless line of production till it ends up between two pieces of bread or on your table waiting for steak sauce to get poured on it. Why this logic and way of thinking and just, you know, cut up more meat, give me more meat, etc., etc., is okay in society just baffles me. I mean, granted, people will always meet, eat meat, and I'll always understand that people will eat meat. It's just the fact that they, everyone just dismisses the fact of, you know, hey, I don't really how, I, you know, I don't really care how it got there, how it got on my plate, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat it, then that's all there is to it. So, 
that's the logic that got me to where I'm at today. The second part that I want to address here is why do I call meat murder? Um, as you can tell from the title, that is just what I'm referring to, meat is murder. Now, that's pretty harsh and I'm expecting that's going to piss some people off and rightfully it should. Maybe it's a little bit over the top, maybe it's not. Uh, maybe I'll make a little sense once this video is done. I hope you people at least give me the respect to watch this all the way through. I'll try and keep it under 10 minutes for you. I'm keeping my eye on the clock here to make sure that. Now, meat is murder for the simple reason that you are killing a living organism. And I'm sure some of you might say to me, well, what, you never, you know, stepped on an ant hill, or you never, you know, sprayed some wasps that came in your back porch, and, and yes I have, and yes I would. I mean, if there was mice running through my house, I would put out a mouse trap, and if they died on that mouse trap, then so be it. If I, cons I consider that a, um... <laughs> An occupational hazard for them, if you will. They're violating my space, therefore I must remove them from my space. If they don't want to stay out, then I shall exterminate them. Just the way nature would work. Now, I don't have any current threats from cows or fish or any other living organism that is sold in the butcher or supermarket at the current time. I consider that murder. Um, maybe that's a little bit of a slanted logic that makes no sense, but um, I'm going with it, and that's the current line of thought that I'm thinking for now. Meat is murder because it kills living organisms that don't threaten life. If we were living on the land and we needed to kill animals because they were the only means of sustaining life through nutrition, then it would not be murder. That's an acceptable sacrifice for those animals, and it's called survival of the fittest. It happens in nature all the time. I don't need to kill a cow. I don't need hamburger. I can live off of fruits and vegetables. I don't care. People can call me gay for eating fruits and vegetables till the day I die. Who gives a shit? I don't care. But such is life and I expect the ridicule and like my comments on my other YouTube videos, I welcome anything you guys want to say mean, diff indifferent, or in somewhere in between. Another thing that I would like to point out on why I think meat is murder is the whole why we kill what we kill. Uh, let me give you a scenario here. If I had a property in a neighborhood and I uh, had cows there that I raised up and I decided to throw a picnic for the entire neighborhood and I killed some cows off and made hamburgers with them and cooked them up on the grill and everyone had a good time and you know they ate them all up, no one would really care. I would say that following year I had a a uh, yard full of German Shepherds that I decided to carve up and make, you know, German Shepherd burgers with, and I fed them to my guests. Uh, what do you think? What do you think the guests would think about that picnic? I mean, I I think they'd probably like last year's picnic a lot better. Um, and the thing about that is, is I say to myself, why would they? Why why is it okay to kill a cow but not a dog? Is it because a cow isn't cute and fluffy and it can't sit on the end of my bed or, you know, it can't bark at an intruder? I don't know. Maybe that's just a logic I never understand. Maybe someone out there knows an argument that could change my mind on that. But um, meat is going to be murder until <laughs> it's either acceptable that everything gets killed or nothing gets killed. That's just the way I look at it. How can you justify killing one thing and not another? Anyway, I'm not going to go on and on here and bug you people all night with my diatribe of shit that many of you are going to comment on. Hope you got an ounce of understanding or at least <laughs> changed your mind in the slightest, I wish. Anyway, drop me a comment tell me how insane I am for being the way I am. Good night, people.